express root 6 cos theta plus 3 sine theta in the form r cos theta minus alpha the r is positive and exact the alpha is in degrees quadrant 1 to dp so the first step is to use the compound angle trigonometry in mf19 for cos because we are using cos theta minus alpha here so this is the formula because of the minus we have to use the minus the sign at the bottom so the sign of the bottom we have cos cos plus sine sine so we use cos cos plus sine sine and notice the square brackets without the brackets we have r cos cos plus r sine sine and now we compare the coefficients on the left and on the right for the variable cos theta cos theta the coefficient on the left is root 6 on the right r cos alpha so we have the first equation root 6 equals r cos alpha and for the variable sine theta sine theta the coefficient on the left is 3 on the right it is r sine so we have the second equation 3 equals r sine so after we get the two equations we use the fact that tangent is sine over cos so we divide and we cancel out the r sine over cos becomes tangent and we use inverse tangent in 2dp we get the alpha okay in degrees and because of the fact that we have this formula in mf19 pythagorean identity cos squared plus sine squared equals one so we square r cos and r sine so root six and three and we add them because after we open up the brackets and we factor out r squared we get cos squared plus sine squared which is one so the r is just the square root of 15 from here okay so in conclusion the r is root 15 the alpha is 50.77 degrees the next step is to solve the equation so from the first part be careful this is the um from the first part now in from the second part here in the second part this is not theta but it's using x and it's one third x so we replace the theta with one third x and because this is 2.5 we can replace this left hand side with 2.5 and then we can divide both sides by root 15 and now we find the base angle so finding base angle means in this case we use inverse cos of this because it is positive we get the base angle in the first quadrant now look at the domain the question it says the domain is from 0 to 360 but that is for x the angle we are dealing with is not x it is one third x minus 50.77 degrees so we multiply everything by one third 0 times one third x times one third 360 times one third and then we subtract 50.77 minus this minus this minus this 120 minus 50.77 we get this so the actual modified domain we can use is this domain from minus 50.77 to 69.23 and remember the um, quadrant rules in the first quadrant everything is positive second quadrant only sine positive only tangent positive only cos positive and the angle calculation quadrant one base angle quadrant two 180 minus quadrant three 180 plus quadrant four 360 minus now if we look at this um, domain we can only use the first quadrant base angle and actually we can use the fourth quadrant negative angle so for the fourth quadrant negative angle that is just minus base angle and for the base angle yeah it's base angle so to solve for x we add 50.77 to both sides so plus 50.77 we get this plus 50.77 we get this and then we multiply by 3 so this times 3 we get this times 3 we get this for the final answer we can just leave it in one decimal place for angle in degrees all right i'll see you guys